welcome to this lecture so in this lecture i am going to talk about unitary operator for time translation unitary operator for time translation so before moving further i will remind some thing from earlier lectures so from earlier lectures it is clear that u epsilon t it's a unitary operator it is a infinite sign small unitary operator so we have defined it in this manner in the earlier lectures also we see the effect of this operator on ket psi and it transforms to a new psi prime so it can be written as i iota epsilon g into ket psi and this we have written as iota delta psi here delta psi is basically this term when it is it gets multiplied with it and similarly we have also seen that that a prime is equal to i plus iota epsilon g it is a it is i minus iota epsilon g and it is nearly equal to as we have showed earlier if you go through earlier lectures we have obtained this expression so now let a hamiltonian hamiltonian is changed to h plus delta h under time translation t to t plus delta t this is time translation so in lecture two point one point one we have seen that unitary operators operators can be expressed as time evolution operator that is mathematically if i try to look at the unitary operator as a time evolution operator then it can be written as exponential minus iota by h cross t minus t not h right so let let t not is equal to 0 if i use this then i can express the unitary operator as exponential minus iota by h cross h t 
but this exponential function which can be expressed as that uh, it is sorry e raised to power x is equal to 1 plus x plus x squared by 2 factorial and so on so that means this unitary operator it can be expressed as i plus minus iota by h cross h t right we have expanded only up to this and higher order terms are neglected also we know that that u epsilon g it can be expressed as i plus iota epsilon g so if it can be expressed and if i compare these two things that means in place of this g operator this minus h by h cross is sitting and in place of this delta t is for infinite simul so i am talking about the time translation that that means this epsilon infinite simly small quantities it can be replaced with delta t so that means how i can express the things i can write down it as u delta t is equal to i plus iota minus h over h cross delta t and here this c is equal to minus h by h cross as i stated here and epsilon basically is equal to this so now let us see the let us see the effect of or see the application of u delta t h is equal to i plus sorry i plus iota delta t minus h over h cross on state psi t so that means let us operate this psi t with u delta t right or if you can simply write down it in this form because g is basically proportional to h as we have seen in the earlier slide let me write down its value from here if i write down its value it will become i plus iota delta t minus h over h cross and psi t so it is equal to psi t minus iota over h cross delta t h psi t let me do one thing 
that uh, as we knew from earlier lectures that since H psi T, it can be expressed as iota H cross curly over curly T psi T. If I put its value here, then this will become psi T minus iota over H cross delta T iota H cross curly over curly T and psi T, right? So I can express it in this form. So this H cross will cancel out with this and this iota into iota is iota square and this minus one and minus minus will become plus. So how this can be written? I can express it as psi t plus delta t curly psi t over curly t. So that means I can express it as psi t, sorry, not psi t but psi t plus delta t. Right, so that means when a you know, unitary operator psi delta t operates over psi t, it gives us a wave function which is evolved with the time. So that means psi t plus delta t. Now, let us consider another thing that is here I am having one operator and this is obtained with the this operation right as we know from other lectures. So in terms of delta t this can be written as u delta t operator into a operator and u dagger operator right and this is basically the function of H and this is also function of H. So if I put their values, then it will become, it is I plus iota delta T minus H upon H cross into A again i minus iota delta t minus h cross h over h cross also i know from earlier lectures that a prime is equal to a plus iota epsilon g a right so if i keep this in mind then how things can be written is A plus iota delta T minus H over H cross comma A and this is equal to a prime is equal to a operator plus iota delta t minus h over h cross into a. Oh, sorry. Let us do one thing. Uh, I think what we should do this one over h cross can be taken outside so if i take it outside then it will remain with this right so this is basically from the property of commutator so i can express it as that a prime is equal to a plus iota sorry not plus iota but uh, minus iota by h cross delta t h a right so things can be expressed in this form so but 
it, if I bring this towards here and this, then this sign will change. So that means this is A plus iota by H cross delta T A H. So now let us consider one interesting thing that if A and H both commute, or we can say that A commute with A, then A prime will become equal to A. So that means we can say that this A is invariant under time translation. Right. So with this, we have seen the effect of uh, this uh, time translation over the state factor and an operator, right? So operator will remain invariant if it commute with the Hamiltonian. So that's what we are concluding out of it. So thanks for watching this lecture.